Hello and welcome to another My SDCCD training video. Today we're going to show you how to submit grades through the faculty portal. Uh, once you log into My SDCCD, uh, click on your college faculty dashboard and you want to look at the college faculty schedule section here or pagelet. Uh, once you're in the appropriate semester, go ahead and click on your class number next to the class you wish to submit your grades to and click on grade roster. Uh, note, if you do not see, that means your grade rosters have not been submitted yet. If it's nearing the end of your class and you still do not see this option, uh, you may want to contact admissions so they could look into the issue for you. Uh, once you click on grade roster, it'll take you to the grade roster for the class. Uh, make sure you're in the right class. So this is personal growth 120. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is next to each student, I'm going to go ahead and select the uh, roster grade. Now you will notice that some of these students may have a uh, what we call a FED indicator. And if you type in F, you are required to put in the last known ac academic activity. Uh, so if the last known academic activity was the end of the class, you would just go ahead and put in 810. Otherwise, if they withdrew earlier, based on your notes, you put in whatever date uh, uh, is indicated. This is required for financial aid purposes and for veteran benefits, uh, so we do require a last known academic activity date. Uh, so then you would go ahead and put in the rest of the uh, grades here. Uh, you'll notice that some of these students are not selectable. That means they have withdrawn, which indicates that they have a W in the class. Um, so if you do see some students where you cannot select the option, that is okay. So I'm going to put in the rest of the grades here. Uh, one thing to note is you'll notice on the top here, it says one of 20 of 34. So some faculty have reported they don't see all of their students. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to click on page two of your grade roster here. And this allows you to go to the um, remaining 34 students um, in your class. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these grades in. Uh, the other thing to note is some students may have selected to have your class as pass, no pass. Uh, you would still see only these options, and then the system would determine if they got a, received a P for a pass grade or NP for a no pass grade. So once you do put in all the students, you can always go ahead and double check to make sure all of your grades are submitted. Uh, what you want to do now is go ahead and click on Save. So this go ahead and saves your work. So if you do need to make changes, you can go ahead and make changes still. So let's say, for example, uh, Carly here, she receives an A. So I'll go ahead and change that as an A. And I could go ahead and hit Save. Um, now note that none of this becomes official until you uh, post it. So in order to post grades, you have to click on the approval status. Uh, you have to click on Approved. So that indicates that you are approving the grade roster being submitted. And now you will notice that none of the roster grades are selectable. Uh, they become read only. So this is sort of your last um, check before you submit grades. So once you verify that all of these grades are corrected, uh, you go ahead and scroll to the bottom of the page and you will click on post here. Um, now, no, once you click on post, the grades become final. And in order for you to do a grade change, you have to submit grade change forms to admission. So you want to double check to make sure that the roster grades here are accurate. Um, if you ever need to go make changes again, just click on the approval status, click back on not reviewed and hit save. And this will allow you to go ahead and make changes uh, if you need to. Uh, and again, once you are confident with the changes and verify, verify that the grades are correct, go ahead and change this back to approved, hit saved, and then finally hit post. So when you hit post, it's going to go ahead and process uh, the grades to be submitted. And at this point, uh, students will be able to see the grades from their MySDCCD portal. So you'll see that's been posted. I'm not able to change this approval status uh, away from approved. And now at this point, if you do need to make a grade change, you would have to submit uh, grade change forms uh, to the admissions office. Um, that concludes our training for the grade rosters. Uh, please uh, check out the rest of our videos. And thank you very much.